Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification bell. My name is Kayla, and if you aren't new here, welcome to my Penguin family. I am doing a review on Simple Plan's new album, Harder Than It Looks. This is their sixth album, so if you want to see my review, then keep on watching. So, this is the CD. I'm going to turn the brightness a little bit down so you can see it, but this is the CD. This is the back of it. And this is the inside of it. This is the CD. This is the, I don't know, lyric book or whatever you call it. So the CD actually has, I don't want to mess it up, but it has simple, it says simple plan on it. And then on the inside, it has that where they, looks like they crashed kind of something. So then you take this paper thing out, this lyric book out, it has this. Then inside, I am very, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed that it doesn't have David, but you know, it is what it is. And then lyrics, them with a leaf blower and all that. I don't know what the hell they're doing. This lyrics, them as construction people, more lyrics, them, I'm guessing in Jeff's restaurant. And then it has this beautiful picture of them. Well, four of them, you got Pierre. Jeff, Seb, and Chuck. So, the tracks that you get on this album, compared to all their albums, I'm going to go in depth with the other albums. You got, the first track is, Wake Me Up When This Nightmare's Over. Ruin My Life featuring Derek, Whip Derek from Sum 41. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, so I'm not going to even pronounce it. The Antidote, Million Pictures of You. Anxiety, Congratulations, Iconic, Best Day of My Life, Slow Motion, and the song too. So compared to this and all their other albums, it's more like they combined newer music with uh, from like taking one for the team of their fifth album mixed with their first album, No Pass on How Much Just Balls, and their second album, Still Not Getting Any, like a mixture of those two. So... They have those, but all their albums, you have No Pads and Homeless, Just Balls, Still Not Getting Any. No Pads was their first album, Still Not Getting was their second album. Then you have the MTV Hard Rock Live, which wasn't really an album, but it was like live music. Then you have the regular version of self-titled Simple Plan and the Deluxe. I have both because I like to have all of them. You have... Their, that was their third album. You have their fourth album, which is Get Your Heart On. Their EP, which is Simple Plan, Get Your Heart On, The Second Coming. And their fifth album, which came out in 2016, which is called Taking One for the Team. Each CD basically almost has like about 10 to 12 tracks on each of their albums. So for this is some keynotes that I got from the group about their new CD, Harder Than Heart, their new album, Harder Than It Looks. Since their 2012 debut, simple debut album, Simple Plan have gradually crowd surfed further and further away from the mosh pit as the Montreal band titled towards the pop side of their pop punk Anxious and become the only Warped Tour al alumnium to count Nelly and Natasha Bennyfield as collaborators, but on their collaborators, but on their sixth album, Simple Plan Res resumes the stage diving position harder than it looks was completed just before the pandemic everything shut before everything shut down in early 2020 but it's two-year delay now frames the record as the perfect 20th anniversary sequel to the group's ma manipulatum breakthrough no pass no helmets just balls over its 10 tracks the band re reasserts reasserts their intent flair for <laughs> Eternalized guitar charge gallops and festival size sing alongs, even as geeky teen Agnes of old gives the way of most sobering reflections on mental health, cyberbullying, and divorce. For us, this is a circle back to the basics record front man Pierre Bouvier tells Apple Music. We came out in the early 2000s and had a massive success, and then you can start quoting, How can you? How can we prove to the world that we're not just 
not just this but i think with more maturity and hindsight we've come to the conclusion let's just do it with what simple plans does best and not worry about showcasing that we have to do things let's hope what the people want that what they want here bouvier gives us the track by track lead down of how simple plan harder than it looks harder than it looks sounds so easy so you're gonna go by track by track for each of their songs of what it's basically about so wake me up when this uh nightmare's over uh, is through the meeting of fans and reading mass people's messages we've come to realize that there's a lot of people in our fan base who literally rely on this music when they're struggling it's more than just entertainment to them because that's what we always try to write songs that are going to help people through their struggles and we want to make a song that's sort of fog and enough to fit whatever we're going through so this nightmare is over that struck is is whatever that struggle the antidote a lot of a lot of these concepts were brought by our drummer, Chuck Como. He had this word, word antidote on this whiteboard that brings in, that he brings in when we do writing sessions. It reminded me of when I was having trouble with my anxiety like 10, 12 years ago and I started having these pretty insane, intense panic attacks. I didn't know what they were and I thought, am I going to die? So I would call my wife and she would calm me down. We talked for an hour at four in the morning that's what this song represents to me that in in a lifeline that that you reach for when you're having those moments of terrible anxiety or depression um basically back in the day pierre the lead singer used to have really bad panic attacks and really bad anxiety he says that it's gotten a little bit better now but hopefully he'll be okay but like basically it's like explaining like what happens uh behind closed doors and everything you never know what happens and that's what happened to him a million pictures of you this is about the infantation moment in a relationship where you can just get where you can't just get enough of each other you look at this person and you're like i want to take so many pictures of you and spend every moment with you and you're just obsessed with each other and you want to document it all i love the riff that we came up with it it feels like a classic feel-good song and the song Anxiety, this song was written with Chuck and I. We also invited Travis Clark from We The Kings. If you don't know who We The Kings are, they're a band. We were inspired by 21 Pilots stuff and ended up going more up with more of a modern take to on Renegade. The song is about anxiety, mental health, and is no longer taboo. And I think that's awesome because when you're going through this that stuff, it feels embarrassing. We want to make sure that conversation more accepted. It should be treated like an injury. When you break your arm, you go to the hospital, you put a cast on, you listen to the doctor. But when your head's broken, people always do that. And I think it's important to treat it that way, which is true. I have anxiety and I suffer with anxiety and depression and it's very terrible. Um... Uh, Ruin My Life is also, we've had par parallel careers with Sum 41 for 20 plus years. I've been a fan of their songs for a long time and I think Derek, Derek sang a great part of the song. We'll all, we'll all see it. People in the comments section can get real nasty and, and that's hard even for me when, but then at some point I'm like, you know what? I don't care about that person. They, they really mean nothing to me and you may have thought that when you said that hurt me but guess what you didn't ruin my life that's what the song is to me um congratulations this song is a little reminiscent of ruin my life it can be seen to as being about a relationship where someone wronged you whatever that may have been it's always it's about feeling betrayed i don't know if karma is a real thing but in my experience it sure seems like it so congratulations is a really good song is a really good song about karma Okay, you have this victory because you wronged me. Well, congratulations on that. But just remember what come what comes up must come down. Um, iconic. Almost every album bars has a song where it's like, "What the hell's that 
doing there, which is true. They have a lot of songs where like, what the fuck is that doing there? And this one, this one, we try to get ourselves into a frame of mind of a writing song where when a team comes out of field, imagine sports highlights where you see all the tackles all through the parts. It's almost like we wrote a song, a documentary about a team of underdogs that made it to the top. And that could be, that could be simple plan. I feel like our band has had a chip up on our shoulder. We've had great success. However, we've had a healthy point of headroom headroom to aim for that Green Day level where the big were a uh, level of being the biggest band in the world. Best day of my life. So we're on track eight. A lot of people think that we came out and instantly had success, but Chuck and I were in a skate park pop punk band reset. So if you don't know Simple Plan before they became Simple Plan, they were in a band called Reset. And yeah. Since we were 13 years old, we opened up to Face to Face and and NOFX. That was the world word that came when we came from when we were playing fast punk pop, pop, fast punk beats and didn't give a crap about success. I'm a huge fan of NOFX and Lagwagon and Pennywise. That's why that's what I used to play when I was a kid. So Chuck and I loved putting stuff like that on our records. For some, for some people that only know us for I'm just a kid, they might be like, whoa, what the hell is this? Which is true. Simple Plan is very well known for the I'm just a kid challenge on TikTok. And people are like, whoa, they're the, they're the TikTok band. No, I don't agree with that. It came out a long time ago. But this is the sort of song we were playing live a lot we end up playing live a lot because they're fun if you're playing a festival and you want to get the mosh pit going just crank crank out this song um so uh Slow motion, once again, this was one of those whiteboard ideas Chuck had. He was describing this idea of a love at first sight. You might see it in the movies all the time where you see the girl walking into the room in slow motion where we're trying to get to match that sort of emotion and very cinematic production wise. We just wanted to make it as grand and eyes as possible. This is going to sound silly, but when I hear the chorus, it just makes me want to cry. I was driving to LA for a session. I was sitting in my car with tears coming down my face. I'm like, what is wrong with me? I'm listening to my own music and I'm crying in my car. And so the next song, I will go through what songs are my favorite and what are my top five for all their songs. Now two, really, if you're going through like your parents going through a divorce or anything, this might be the song for you that I recommend. My parents went through a divorce and I've listened to the song almost countless times now since the album released Mate Six at Midnight. And the thing is, is my parents went through a divorce and splitting up and everything, and I'm still dealing with it. And to listen to it brings me back memories and that. It makes me a little sad. So it is a little bit of a sadder song. So I will sh tell you what it is about. Two, now that all of us have kids, the idea of splitting up with your spouse and having to make decisions in your life that will affect your kids has sort of taken a whole new meaning. Luckily for me and Chuck as well, we came from families that are still together, but we wanted to write about divorce and get as real and raw as possible when a couple is going through divorce and they're worried about the impact on their children. What do they do? They start saying, well, from now on, you'll have two Christmases and you'll get two birthday parties. And the kid is probably thinking, I don't want that. I just want, two, I don't want two bedrooms or two holidays. I just want one. So for anyone who, who's the product of divorce or is going through that themselves. I think this song is going to hit home. It was a hard one to sing. Honestly, for all of their songs that they have ever, that they put out on this album, I they did say uh, that there were, I think there were about like 20 songs that they wrote or something and some of them didn't hit it, uh, all make it. So they might make an EP for it or they might like release some as singles that weren't. So for my top five, I would have to put Wake Me Up When This Nightmare Is Over as number one. If you watch the video, I will try to link the video down below. If you watch the video, all your all the people that view it, everyone that views the video, all the views go towards uh, to help Ukraine. 
uh, to help Ukraine. The second one I would have to put as for number two is the song two because I just relate to it a lot. My third favorite song is Congratulations. My fourth is The Antidote. And the fifth is probably Ruin My Life. I just really love all those songs. I've been listening to them a lot. And when I sat and listened to the song too, I wanted to start crying because it made me think of with my parents of what I'm going through, no matter what, even though I want my parents happy, I don't want two Christmases. I don't want like two birthday parties or whatever. I don't want like the two. I just want it together as one again. But I know that... <sighs> It will never happen but like you if you get what I mean like with your parents going through a divorce and everything and everything you'd understand what I, I've been through in that it's just it's just a mess or whatever yeah you're you want your parents together but in the end you want your parents happy whether it's with whether they're together or not and yeah that's the rundown of the new t uh simple plan album harder than it looks this is their sixth album I got this so I will give you a rundown. I looked for this on Amazon and it was like almost like $25 for this. I got this at my music store called Sunrise Records for $14.99 today. Well, yesterday, which was May 7th or whatever. But I got this at my music store for $14.99 and it came to like $16.75. Amazon is charging way too much for this. I know that there are uh, vinyls for this and on their website, there's a cassette and all that. There's like bundle deals that you can get with t-shirts and everything. Personally for me, I don't like ordering CDs online. I like going into a music store and picking it out because I get to pick the pr most perfect one or whatever. And it's just like, I like to have that as my, uh, I've always done that since I was a kid with every single Simple Plan album. Yeah, HMV used to be a thing, which was a music store here in Canada. But every single CD that I've ever gotten comes from either HMV or Sunrise Records. So every single Simple Plan album I've picked out myself. And I personally just like picking them up myself because I don't have to deal with the shipping and also dealing with... Uh, the album getting cracked or like something getting stolen or whatever. So I don't have to deal with that. But thank you so much for watching. If you are a Simple Plan fan like me, I've met them twice. And if you've met them, comment down below. They are the most, like, I want to say five most sweetest guys. But I know I'll get hate for it. Because they're like, oh, there's only four members now. But when I was growing up, there were five members in Simple Plan. There was Pierre as vocals. David DeRosier as... Pierre Bouvier as vocals, uh, David DeRosier as vo backup vocals and bass player Sebastian Lefebvre as backup vocals and guitar, Jeff Stinko as guitar and Chuck Coma as drums. I grew up with all five of them. So to see compared to their latest album, five members and compared to four members, it's a little bit sad because you know, you grew up with all five of them, but you know what? They're making everything the best that they can with it. And I believe they still do talk to David probably, but I never know. You never know what happens in this music industry. But thank you so much for watching. If you're a huge Simple Plan fan, give this video a like. Comment down below. Subscribe and hit the bell notification bell to become a member of, become a member of my Penguin family. And thank you so much for watching. This is the review. Um, Go out and buy it. I... I recommend this. This is a 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5 stars for me. This is an amazing album. Simple Plan worked really, really fucking hard on it, even though it was supposed to come out in 2020, like two years ago, but because of the pandemic and everything, they couldn't put it out. Because when they, you put a, you're an artist or a band or whatever, when you put out a new album, it means you also have to tour for that album too, and they couldn't tour during the pandemic. So I believe Simple Plan worked really fucking hard on this album. They're the most amazing guys ever. I've met them twice, seen them in concert three times. If you ever had the chance to see them in concert, do it. They're really amazing. They sound just like they do on their CD and concert, but probably better. They're the most amazing people ever. I can't describe how many times like when I met them, when I was crying, when I met them because I was having a panic attack, how many times they were always there for me and even there for me through their music. They all, they know who I am on Instagram and they know who I am on Twitter and all social media. They always like my comments or reply to me. 
They're very, very, very sweet people. If you ever have a chance to meet them in person, do VIP. I recommend it. They are the most amazing band ever. I'm not saying that because I love the band. I'm saying it because they are genuine and they are very nice and they are genuine people. So yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification bell. Thank you so much for watching everyone and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you so much. Bye. Stay safe and stay positive. This isn't these are not hand tattoos. It's henna. I got it at work. But thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>